and we take a look at the review it is out that's right it is long welcome to good energy guys we are here at lisa cornet and julia putin seva and these two ladies are literally just breaking each other these are the breaks that's right elisa cornet does not look healthy ladies and gentlemen i took yulia to win this match and a lot of people said to me are you serious if yulia meets iga you're picking yulia to upset iga Swiatek? are you mad no i'm not and i'm picking yulia to upset iga Swiatek if they meet why because of shots like this to beat iga you're gonna have to be unconventional this is Yulia Putinseva hitting her drop shots from the baseline. And look, guys, this reminds me, Serena Williams, Anj Jabor, that doubles match that they had last week where Anj Jabor hit the drop shot to give them match point. Serena Williams said in the post-match interview, I would never hit a drop shot in that position. The reality is great players don't really practice those types of shots. Well, maybe they do, because An Zabor clearly does, and she's on her way to being great. But the reality is, let's say this is basketball, and you have a great shooter like a Steph Curry, and the game is on the line. He could either shoot a straightaway three-pointer, or he could bank it. He could shoot a bank shot three-pointer. What is he going to do? He's probably going to shoot a straightaway three-pointer. Why? Because with the bank shot, too many things can go wrong when you're that deep. Um, the closer you are, the easier the bank shot is, like a drop shot. The further you are, too many things can go wrong. You'll probably trust your professionalism and your expertise with just shooting the regular shot. And this is why I would take Yulia to upset Iga Swiatek because you're going to have to be unconventional. And if Yulia can put together two, maybe three great sets of service games, with her unconventional style of play, her athletic ability, anything is possible. But you're not going to be Iga Swiatek by playing traditional tennis. You're going to have to mix up drop shots. You're going to have to serve well. And her athletic ability, Yulia is she's not a bad returner. Her return numbers are not that bad. But this match here, this match reminds me of uh, Shaoi Zhang and Caroline Wansiaki. The Wimbledon match uh, a few years back where all they were doing were challenging. In this match, they are just challenging play after play, and it's a nightmare. But I don't think Elisa Cornet is healthy. Bonjour, comment allez-vous to all my French men and women checking in. I do not think Elisa is healthy, and I think Yulia is going to win as the underdog. That was my official pick here. And yes, I'm picking Yulia to upset Ika if they meet, guys. It's a shocker, but get used to it. I don't think Ika is going to win Wimbledon. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going with someone that's athletic, unconventional, and someone that can make Ika move. Grass, look, all of the grass surfaces, they're slippery at first, and... Iga hasn't played, and we saw what happened to, look, the great Danielle Collins. She's coming into Wimbledon without joining the pre-Wimbledon grass tournaments, and she is bounced out. And I think Iga will be out of here pretty soon. We're going to cover her match a little bit later, but let's get back to Yulia Putinseva versus Elisa Cornet. If Yulia gets past, look, another challenge, this match is full of challenges. It's... It's a little bit ridiculous. But I think we have uh, Maurice Sacri, the Greek goddess in action. Stay tuned for that match. This is good energy, guys.